thank you for watching. Today I want to talk about a question I hear often, especially now that self-love has become this popular topic on social media, which is great, but the question is, how do you love yourself? And I find that a lot of people, social media influencers, are saying, just look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself, and you're going to manifest it even if you don't believe it, and all this other bullshit. And while I do think that affirmations are certainly powerful and can reinforce, reinforce positive thinking, it takes a lot more than just repeating an affirmation because if you've spent years doing the complete opposite of self-love, it takes a lot more work to step into a place of love. For me personally, stepping into a place of self-love came from unfolding the false narrative that I was told as a young girl that I needed to fit into arbitrary standards to be beautiful, that looking a certain way would make me happy or that having cellulite on my body deemed me as unworthy. It came from understanding that the inner dialogue I was having with myself was self-sabotaging and cruel. It came from realizing that my worth is not placed on a single aspect of how I look and from understanding that I was carrying a lot of baggage that was no longer serving me. Now I want to point something out that's really important which a lot of people don't talk about and that is that self-love is not just an overnight shift and you wake up and you're like I love myself, I feel so good in my body, I'm never gonna hate myself again because that's just not how it works. It's ongoing work, it's working through your insecurities, it's figuring out what triggers you. Um, and sometimes you have days when you feel really good in your skin and there's other days when you feel blah. Even I have those days sometimes and it's knowing how to also pull yourself out of those moments and stepping back into a place of love. With all of that said, today I want to share four books that have truly helped me step into a place of love and I'm not saying that you have to read these books because there are a myriad of ways in which you can practice self-love, but these books have been truly life-changing for me and I know that they can do the same for you. The first book I wanna talk about is The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown, and this is all about letting go of who you think you're supposed to be and embracing who you are. So it's all about, um, it's all about cultivating authenticity, um, embracing your imperfections, giving yourself more compassion, and also letting go of false narratives we often tell ourselves like, once I lose 20 pounds, then I'll be enough, or once I get rid of the cellulite, then I'll be worthy. So if you struggle with things like that, this is a great book. So the second book I wanna talk about, which I don't have, which is completely frustrating that I can't find it because I wanna read it again. I could read this book over and over again because it's truly life-changing, but that is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, which is all about living by the four agreements, which happens to be um, number one, being impeccable with your words, so choosing your words wisely. Number two is not taking things personally, which most of us do. Number three is not setting expectations and number four is doing your best so letting go of perfection this is easily my favorite book of all times because it's truly changed my life the next book is the mastery of love again by don miguel ruiz and this book is all about finding happiness and with within yourself because we often rely on other people and other things to make us happy so it's all about cultivating happiness within yourself and not being dependent on others the last book is Loving What Is by Brian Katie, and this book is all about doing the work. So if you have certain narratives that you believe about yourself or your body or whatever, you are going to do the work and you're going to overcome those thoughts. So an activity she has you do throughout the book is asking yourself these questions about a statement you might have about yourself, which is, is the statement true? Can you absolutely know that the statement is true? How do you react? What happens? And what do you what do you feel when you believe this thought? And then the fourth one is who would you be without this thought? And it's truly like really helpful when it comes to let's say for example you don't think you're worthy of love because you're overweight. She's going to have you work through that 
through this book. But anyways, those are the four books that I've read that have been truly life-changing. I'm gonna put the links to all of them in below. I'm talking really fast because my camera's about to die. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any books that you would recommend, please leave them in the comments below because I love to read and I love reading personal development books. And anyways, thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.